Did you know that a huge chunk of Earth's history is missing? The mystery of how we lost a billion years of historical knowledge is bewildering. Looking at the big picture, the Earth's lifespan is only a small percentage of the duration of its history. One billion years is almost a quarter of Earth's existence. And yet there is a billion year gap in the fossil record that geologists have not yet penetrated. The Great Unconformity is the name of the area. Let's take a peek at what we are really talking about here, shall we? If you decided that you wanted to dig a hole and you started to hit older layers of rock the further you dug, and in those layers you start to discover things from the past, like an MC Hammer tape from the 80s, or you'd be fortunate enough to find some bell-bottom pants from the 70s, then you found a bronze dagger from the 1300s, then finally you reached the surface and found Roman coins and other artifacts. So why then do both human and natural remnants sink deeper into the ground as time passes? You may ask, the reason for this is because all living things sink deeper and deeper into different portions of the planet over time. The Earth's crust is continually covered roughly by semi-permeable particles like sand and dust. The surplus of material from the world's surface is referred to as deposition. A laborious procedure called sedimentation takes place as fine particles accumulate very slowly until they form sedimentary rock. Over time, this cemented sedimentary rock builds up and then solidifies. Afterwards, minerals bond together to solidify and form more sedimentary rock. After that, another layer of rock is formed on top and so on and so on and so on and so on. Literally or figuratively, animals are usually engaging in their usual cycle of slowly dying. Animals and bugs eat all the soft squidgy bits. But the harder bits, like bones and shells, do tend to get covered in small particles of dust over time and they wind up accumulating in rock. This is called the strata. The studying of the strata is called stratigraphy and one of its guiding principles is the law of superposition, which states that if undisturbed, the lower down the rock layer, the older the rock. The bulk of our knowledge of his earlier and subsequent geologic history and life has come about by analyzing the layers that make up the sedimentary rocks and what they have stored throughout the fossil. It is actually amazing to see such clear distinctions in the strata and they are rich sources for learning about Earth's history. While looking at cross sections of geological structures gives you a decent idea of time passing, you get a reasonably nice picture of the oscillations of history, but unfortunately understanding it is not so foolproof. While new layers of sand are being formed in one area, a pure layer of sedimentary rock may also temporarily establish itself at another location until new layers of sedimentary rocks are formed and made to show sedimentation has stopped. Strong wind movements and water erosion will move particles easily, which helps to eradicate sections of a geologic record. On occasion, the rock's record of history can be interrupted due to thousands of years of gradual sedimentation. These interruptions are referred to as a hiatus. The missing parts are unrecoverable and create the gaps in the record. When the breaks happen, it visibly changes the color and pattern of the mineral that sits on top of the rock. Geologists call this an unconformity. Danish scientist Neil Jensen proposed such a model in 1667. It was a farmer named James Hutton who discovered the first significant unconformity while walking near Sicker Point in Scotland in 1787. He saw a striking difference between the upper and lower rock formations, which led him to coin a new word for it. Hutton's unconformity. The lowermost dark gray layer is composed of deposits from approximately 425 million years ago. The upper reddish layer was formed by rivers and streams about 345 million years ago. This is a hiatus of approximately 80 million years. Hutton's 1859 lecture following his discovery of the shapes that formed the Black Hills prompted mathematicians to denounce him as a heretic whose whole theory of tectonics was a complete waste of time. Geologists have since referred to his theory as a geologic shrine. That sums up just how interesting it is that a theory from this time period could inspire such vehement disagreement disagreement. However, the most unusual unconformity was found in 1869 when John Wesley Powell was observing a strange mound whilst traversing the Grand Canyon and noticed a vertical rock formation botting up against horizontal formation. This channeled the supreme creativity of his geologist predecessors. He named it Powell's Nonconformity 
But since then, it's been more commonly referred to as Powell's Great Nonconformity, and there are two striking reasons. The exact reasons are worthy of a whole continent worldwide. Marie Laurentia is the name for the ancient heart of the continent, of North America, located in the 1960s. Some facets of Earth's crust have been uncovered all over the world at this point, but most of them have shown only a small gap on a planetary scale, equaling at least tens of millions of years. Not long ago, several other unconformities were uncovered around the world, on a much smaller scale. Additionally, there are several other undiscovered reeks in the outside world, but there are only a few that reach a significant scale. The smallest time gap between the first rock layers and the Paleolithic occupants is 250 million years, and the largest gap is over 1 billion years. That's right, the missing piece that separated the two sides of the mountain range represents a span of 1.2 billion years, and the whereabouts of it are unknown to us. There's so much more to this rocky phenomenon. The Isle of Tarte and a few rock formations were determined by geologists to be made at approximately the same time and have been found in other locations around the globe. Modern culture refers to this as the Great Unconformity, an enigma that spans the entire planet and spans a period of over 2 billion years. The Grand Canyon illustrates an example of the 525 million year old Cambrian rocks from the Cambrian era this older base of the strata sits snugly on the surface in the Cambrian era, stacking upon another time gap of 1.217 billion years. We notably see a breathtaking landscape in the Missouri's Ozark Plateau, overhanging 500 million years of old sandstone, which is topped with about a billion-year-old granite outcrop, which displays a 900 million year hiatus gaps in our long geologically empty history book, but we'll never know for sure if such a change will ever come. Until then, the big gap in Earth's evolution remains a great mystery. Thanks for watching.